Can please more lightning talk speakers go over time so we can throw more of these ping pong balls? <laughs> the next one up is Joachim Kolstein. Welcome up. Yeah, uh, I'm here to talk about. Uh, hello, my name is Joachim Kolstein. Stein. Uh, you may know me for Slush, uh, like a Geoman like uh, library based on Gulp. But I'm here to talk about modular scalable CSS. And there's a few problems with CSS uh, when you uh, work on a big project. The first one is it, it cascades. You have it in name already. It should just be style sheets. It would have been so much simpler then. And the specificity, oh, you, you can read it. <laughs> uh, it's a problem. And the reusability. Some preprocessors tried to solve, solve this last issue to make it better. Uh, you have this. It's a copy and paste from a famous uh, CSS library, Bootstrap. Uh, this is what I mean, the problem with specificity. Uh, and you have to sprinkle important all over the place to override border styles in a table, etc. And after a while in your project, you start important all the things. And you wish it would, uh, you could use multiple importance in one line. So back to the modular scalable CSS, or maybe I should say JavaScript, because that's what I built, a, a library called Unistyle that makes you write uh, CSS using JavaScript, or the latest edition of JavaScript, ECMAScript. So we have the example above. Uh, it's JavaScript, which compiles to the lower CSS. You can nest like in any, any preprocessor. You can even nest media queries. And using the computed properties from SMS 6 you can um, get a really nice syntax. And the media queries bubbles up to the top. So when you nest it like that, you get button. And you have the ability to use modules and extending styles. So here's two different files, module A and module B. So you can uh, use shorthand properties for a nicer syntax. You could also use the structuring, which I really like very much. So with the use of the structuring, you can extend the my button class with all the styles from button in this other file with the no different syntax than uh, JavaScript. And how about reusability? Yeah, that's the module thing. You just, they are just an import required way, no matter if it's in your backend app compiled CSS or if it's inline styles. You can, these styles are compatible with the styles in React. So we can use JavaScript for everything. There's one language to rule them all. You get mind blown. But there's still one problem, it cascades. But I have a few other modules for that. So here we have three files. The button style con containing just the style and the app.js, which will be compiled to app CSS and a React component called button. So we have two new models here, class nameify and cngen, short for class name generator, which compiles the app.js there to this. This is our button style. And in the React component, component we get the generated class name. So then you don't know beforehand what class name to use, so you can't use the cascading feature of CSS. And you can use class names all over the place, only class names. So that's the end. Uh, you want to talk about this? My Twitter handle is Joachim Beng, also on GitHub and everywhere else. And it's called Unistyle. Thank you.